And so June 2023, Happy Paper Box, we are about to open it. Um, I've I've had a lot of uh, a lot of 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 interesting information come around the last couple of months, and I've had a lot of thoughts, and I've asked a lot of questions. So. I got a, a, a feedback from several sources a couple of months ago that the insert inside really didn't matter, really didn't make a difference. Um, you know, it just got tossed anyway. But we didn't have it in June and we don't have, or sorry, we didn't have it in May and we don't have it in June because they were, June was already planned. And I have gotten more feedback that that insert is important and that people do really like it. It has the list of what things are supposed to be, what things are supposed to be in here. And if there is something that you're not sure what it is, you can look at that list and it gives you the, you know, presumably the name of what it is. So starting next month, that insert will be back in the box. So those of you who have missed it, not to worry, it will be coming back. We're also, um, we're also approaching our one year mark of the happy paper box. It hasn't quite been a year that the box has been out. We are kind of new to this space. It's our it's our first year as the happy paper box subscription box. And um, we've learned a lot. Uh, I've had a few growing pains and learned a lot this year. So we're looking at a few um, surprises and a few special things that will be coming up in the boxes um, over the next six months. So keep an eye out for that. If you haven't yet subscribed, <clears throat> now might be a good time to subscribe because there are some very special things um, coming up. Um, I want to say October will be our one year mark. And, um, and we've got several special things planned and some changes in the box as well uh, based on some things that we've learned along the way. So uh, so let's open June. Let's open June and see what's in there. I love this tissue paper. Start with this. Uh, it's vintage. It's roses, different kinds. of. Well, I think there's carnations in there too. Roses and carnations. But it's the colors that I really love. They look really cool when you use them. Um, at last year's retreat, they got a sneak peek of this tissue paper. And they got, um, they got some of this tissue paper. So it is uh, like vintage photo and Victorian uh, velvet or, and, and a cream. I don't know what ivory cream. I can't think of a, uh, an ink that that relates to. But those are the colors that these remind me of. And when you decoupage this down, it looks really cool like that. Victorian velvet and um, uh, vintage photo. So we are no longer putting a sticker on there. Um, because we know we all love the tissue paper and want to be able to use it fully. But just know that if there was a sticker there, it would have a great big thank you on it because we really do appreciate you being a part of the Happy Paper family. So a question that came up this week, um, you do not have to be um, a part of the Happy Paper People Facebook group or YouTube channel to subscribe to the box. We would love to have you subscribe to the channel or and join the Facebook group, but you do not have to be. Also, the sales that are on Saturdays and the Laugh and Crafts, you do not have to be subscribed to the channel or be a part of the Facebook group to attend the sale. That is open to the public. So let's take a look at what is in here. Now, I've already gotten some feedback that some people's Utah truffle was melty. So pop it into the fridge or freezer and let it sit there. But we are rethinking chocolate for the months of July, August, and possibly September. So if you don't have your Utah truffle, it's not because we didn't want to send it to you. But we don't want it leaking all over your, your goods. And we don't want it um, just to be a mess and gross. So we'll rethink that. Maybe we'll leave those out and we'll just double up for a few months after that to get you some. So, so we've got a lot of fun things here. Let's just start right here. We love the pouches. We had one month last month. There was not a pouch in there. And boy, did I hear about it. I know we love the pouches. So I love this size. I use this size in my bag, my purse, and my carry-on a lot when I travel. It's a wonderful size. So we have a small pouch. These are the PVC pouches. They are waterproof. 
The zippers are awesome. So we will go back to getting one of those in each month. We have uh, some mini airmail envelopes. Let's see if I can just get one of these off with this. So the airmail envelope, you fold it up. Each one of them has some different scenes on it. This is Roman. This is Paris. This is London. Maybe, oh, maybe they have all three. They do have all three. I saw London on this one, Roman on that one, uh, in Paris. But there's place to write. You can fold it up and make it actually like an envelope. You could address it. So you could tuck it into a tuck spot in a journal. Um, you could actually take this and trace around it and make yourself a template for making these out of any other paper that you want to. You could glue it down into your journal like this and then just, you know, on the back and then fold it up. And so it does um, fold up as an envelope. And then when you open it, it stays onto the journal page and could be written on there. So, but it's fun and it's cute because it's little, we like little teeny tiny things in Happy Paper People, right? So got to say hello to Sylvia. Not tardy of the party. You've been here, but still cleaning. <laughs> We're glad that you're here. Uh, next is, oh, let's just go to this. Okay. I'm excited about this. This is a six by six collection kit from Prima, a vintage emporium. Now, if you have used last month's box, or if you remember wherever it's sitting, last month you got a four by six postcard or journal card size um, pack like this, but four by six, that was vintage emporium. So this is the collection kit that matches that. So it's a six by six paper pack but when they say collection kit, that means it has something more than just the paper pack. It has um, 39 total sheets, but 36 of them are the double-sided papers, one alphabet sticker sheet, and one journaling card um, sheet, and one journaling card sticker sheet. So I will show you those. Well, that came off nice and easy. I love when that happens. Okay, these papers, I love these. We thought the journaling cards were awesome. These are even better just because they're a little bit larger. I do like that they are double-sided so that we get some options of which side to use because, you know, we don't all love both sides or we don't all love the same side every time. But we're bound to like one side or the other. I like this side a lot. And I like the opposite side. But I want to say that there's four... Um, Maybe six. I think there's four of each design. Not positive. Nope, there are six of each design. That's awesome. So some good vintage designs there on both sides. And as you get to the back here, this is where you get the part that makes up the collection. Here's a sheet of um, alphabet stickers. I do like these because most of the other ones I have are very large like the thickers and when they come on the, the big sheets, the 12 by 12 or six by 12 sheets, they're so much larger. These are a little smaller for me. They're a little easier to use and don't get rid of the branding strip up here. This is one of those paper packs where the branding strip is awesome. There are some that I just tear them off here and toss the rest of it, but this is one where I will take out the branding strip and use it too awesome for layering. So this says seed house, just good, um, good stuff on all of the branding strips in here. So use those as well. Behind the alpha sheet is a sticker sheet. So this is the journaling spot stick sticker sheet. I can't speak. So <laughs> all, of the, all of these spots are stickers. So if you look down at this little one here, there's an, an arrow with that uh, the Scrabble uh, letters in it. And then that's an arrow. And that whole thing is, an, is a, an arrow. There's like one, two, three, or four different stickers right there in that little thing kind of layered, which is very cool. I like when they get multiple stickers in one little spot. So those are pretty cool. They're not um, the same as average everyday ones we get that we've already got. And then make sure, okay, then this is the sheet of journal cards. So there's a couple of different sizes. And these are single sided. So you can do anything you want on the back. You could spray it. You could coffee dye it. This is really thick. This is a lot thicker 
than the paper in here. This is actually thicker than the cover. You know what the covers are typically like, and you can kind of see the flexibility there, but you know what they're like. They're always pretty much the same. This page with the journaling cards is thicker than the cover. It's about twice the thickness. So these are really good, solid, sturdy journaling cards. So you could coffee dye them, or this side looks really nice and vintage. Just spray this side or put some coffee dyed paper on it and use them as journaling spots. So, and don't forget the cover. Lots of cute little teeny tiny things. They make cute mini covers of mini books. Miniature. We like miniatures. Okay, so that matches last month's um, journal cards that we could pull out and use with it. So then we've got a pack of tags. So if you look closely at these, it's at, make sure I can't see in the bright light. There is a little doohickey up here, a hole punched and the doohickey that you could push out, just left them in there. So it is a tag. You could punch that out and put a string in there, whatever you want. You could leave it in there and glue them down as a label. And you could go around the outside of them with black. You could go inside of them, a, you know, and make a border with black or any other color that you want. But those are very cool labels. I think there was, I don't remember how many, 16 or 18 or something like that in there. Mm -hmm. Then there's a pack of note paper. I really like these little labels. These are awesome for layering. And there's just a lot, they're little tiny. They're perfect for layering. Sometimes you need just a little label on something small or when you're layering, everything can't be big. You get one big thing and then you need some small things. You kind of have to go smaller, smaller as you go. And these are the perfect little labels for that. Levering for layering on top of a, a tag like that. These are small enough to do. And then hang on to the box because you could make a tiny little cabinet of curiosity or a coffin out of this little box. Yeah, that would be cute. Okay, then also from Prima, anytime you see this rose, that is Prima's um, logo. Vintage trinkets. These are fun. I was excited about these because, you know, anytime I've seen these like to have at the sale, they're pretty expensive. Uh, and I was able to get um, get them for the boxes. I thought that was pretty cool. So this is a postage stamp here. And a vintage typewriter, a vintage bicycle or motorcycle. Can't tell which one. Can be whichever one you want. Hot air balloon and the crown. So they are stick pins. And is this double? Awesome. Awesome. Anytime it's double, that gives you twice as much to work with there. They do have pretty cool um, backings because this has that faux stitching already all the way around it. And I'd probably leave it this size and take the single side off, put coffee dyed paper on the back and turn this into a journal card. Just do a little bit more on the front of it to decorate it. But these are super cute. They are um, thick pins that you can use in your junk journaling or any kind of journaling, or you could wear on your lapel if you wanted to. I was a little surprised that they didn't come with end things, but then I bought some other stick pins for my own junk journaling and they didn't come with end things either. So maybe I need to find end things. Okay, then mm, some gears. I won't call them steampunk because it doesn't have to be steampunk to use it. But they are vintage industrial gears. Oh, there are all kinds in there. There are clock hands. There are, um, oh, forget it. I'll just put them out here. <laughs> Try to hold them in my hand. They're going to be falling everywhere. And there we go. There's clock hands. There's um, different types of gears. There's silver and gold and bronze and rose gold, all different sizes and all different types. I'm hmm, not sure what that one is. That's one of my favorites right there. And, you know, I don't really care what color it is because you can change the color. In fact, these, because they're metal, they are ideal to rust with our uh, 13 Arts rusting powder and rusting um, liquid, which we have 
in the shop. And maybe we need to do a live on rusting. Seems to me we talked about that a long time ago and never got around to it. But there's a whole variety. There's single clock hands. There's some that are, I thought I had one that was double. Yeah, both hands. That oh look at that teeny teeny tiny one. Oh teeny tiny one. So there's probably a few of these here and there. I didn't even see those, so they could be scattered around. Teeny tiny clock hands. Um, if you're making miniatures, so that's fun. A lot of different things to choose from and to layer with. And then last but not least, these are from Momenta, and they are metal uh, book corners. There are eight of them, so four of each style. There's two different styles there. They are stickers. So <clears throat> I do like stickers because it gives me the option. You don't have to use them as stickers. <clears throat> Forgot to get my blade out. And be ready for any of these things. And... So if they're stickers, you can use them as stickers, which is kind of nice and, and easy. Sometimes you don't want to crimp them around the corners of books. I do have some that I crimp around corners. Uh, but sometimes, depending on the type of cover, I don't want to crimp them around the corners. I know that it's not going to really hold up to it. Um, but if it's a sticker, I can choose. It's got a nice little piece of acetate in there, too. And a nice long tag all ready to go. I can choose whether to leave this foam. So it's got foam that would make it stand up just a bit. I can choose whether to leave that on or to take it off and make it flat, glue it down flat. I typically will put it down flat because I want it to look like it's crimped on or um, like it has a, um, a, what do you call it, a pin in it and it stabs into it. To hold it in place i want it to look like that so i'll typically take these off but you might have a situation where you've got decorations on the cover right up to the corner that stand up and you can put this on there and it will raise it up a little bit and not harm your um, your decorations so you've got four of each of each and i'll tell you that i did have i did have extras of these so if you want more book corners contact me i may put them in the shop but i may offer them to those uh, who are already subscribed to the subscription box first at a discount if they want additional ones am i missing one i am i probably just dropped it somewhere and don't even see it nope it's right there okay there we go so four and four so they're pretty. So they are a vintage bronze, but again, we don't care what color they are because we can change the color. We can rust them. We can change the color with um, alcohol ink, whether it's alcohol ink pens or alcohol ink uh, liquid. Um, either way, we know that we can do that. So, well, I was going to stand these all up so we could get us a nice little uh, picture here. And that's not going to work if I took those right out of the right out of the package is it let's see you we know we've got that and we'll do those and we'll leave all these in front and maybe i can just set these <laughs> next time put them here inside i mean just put them there with the gears right beside the gears then they'll just look like they're part of the gears and it's one less item no, they won't. It's all right. corners don't look the same. <laughs> well, I guess if you look closely at them. If you look closely. So. Let's see if that'll even work. It may, it may not. And maybe sliding around, but that's okay. It's okay if they're sliding around. Okay, are we gonna get? 
we get enough in, right? Yeah. Here, let me do this. There we go. We'll get enough in. That'll give us a screenshot. <laughs> 